Hello guys and welcome to this video and today I'm about to show you how I improved the 2019 LEGO Anakin Sport Racer. A few months ago I bought this set because I am a huge LEGO Star Wars fan and also because good memories come back since I used to own the very first version of this set that the LEGO did ever make. And basically what happened as soon as I finished building the model was that I really didn't like the look of it. So I'm kind of the guy who likes to mess with official LEGO set, in a good way of course, and improving them where possible, or in this case where needed. So I started modifying its structure and shape in order to achieve the right look, since The Phantom Menace is my favorite episode and I love the pod racing scene. Anyway, that's it! That's the more appropriate version of the Operator. That requires several weeks of adjustments, uh, tweaks here and there, day after day, always searching for new solutions. In this video, I'm going to take you through the many specific modifications I made to the set. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I completely changed the design of were the engines. These two massive rocket powered engines are the ones who actually pull the cabin. And as you can see in the original set, the designer, to me, didn't make a really good work. The engines look too small and short in length and in general, I didn't like very much the decision to put some brown elements at the end. And I also think those yellow wheel pieces are too small compared to the real thing. So I disassembled the engines and started to figure out a way to stretch them and make them longer. I really wanted to get the proportions right with this set. And after adding some relatively new circular technique pieces and changing the axles with longer ones, I finally obtained a longer and sleeker engine. Okay, so as you can see, this is the engine separated from the whole vehicle. You can clearly see it's way more longer than the original design. You may have noticed that I added these two grey Technic dishes. If we go to the end, we can see that the brown uh, cylinders have completely disappeared. I only left one here in the bottom, so you don't see. The engines in the real thing are way more intricate and complex than the simple design the official LEGO set had previously. I had this pair of pieces, it's a cupcake piece. And if you think about the movie, you can remember it's a reference to what Sebulba does before the race. If you remember, it snaps out this piece to compromise Anakin race. If we move to the front, we can see that I totally changed the inner part of the engine with this yellow wheel piece that I think it really makes justice and it's the right proportions. I also added this vent. This is a really nice touch. I wanted this for the very beginning since I bought the set. You are may wondering what this is. Is this piece? This is a cover rim of the wheels for the Speed Champion series. And basically what I did was to cut this center piece that fits a stud in it. If we move to the internal side, you can see that I also added this plate. This represents the point where the purple energy lightning comes from. And this is in the right spot. This needs to be here. The underside of the engine looks pretty much like it was before. To conclude with the engines, you can see that I added more silver pieces uh, yeah, to add some variety to it and to make it more grey in uh, a overall view. The cabin was also an uh, important part of the vehicle to get properly. The front part has changed completely. As you can see I added this bar underneath it because the real thing has those two silver holders that function as guide for the wires, for the cables. I was wondering how do I do that? Um, I think I finally got as result I decent look. You can see here I used some droid arms um, yeah, more silver pieces. And I also added this piece at the end. Okay, so here we have the structure without the engines and the cabin. As you can see, I managed to slide the structure down to the ground, to the ground level. And the engines are actually going to sit on these axles. In the original design, the connection point was on this side. Why? With my modification, I managed to make the structure posing on the ground. Here we have the final part of the, the structure where the cabin is going to sit in.
Another thing that I really didn't like about the original set was that the cables were like curved and in the real thing they are really tense because the engines are pulling the cabin. I managed to include this thing, this feature, because in my design the cabin is like held by the engines. If I detach the cables you can see that the cabin will fall off. Okay guys, that was it for today. Please let me know what you think of it. I think this is a more likable model than the original set. Bye!